Hey everybody, what's going on? This week on Once a Week, we're going to be taking a look at demolition screwdrivers and how they'll benefit you in the field. So stick around and let's get to it. Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in to another video of One Tool a Week. If you're new to the channel, we take a look at tools every week. So if you love tools, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So what is it that we're going to be taking a look at this week? Well, if you ask me, uh, I always use my screwdriver or my flathead screwdriver as a chisel and they tend to break on me. So just to let y'all know, there is particular screwdrivers that they came out with recently, which are called demolition screwdrivers. And we're going to be taking a look at some demolition screwdrivers. That way you could go ahead and pick one up and you could stop breaking your flathead screwdrivers and replacing them uh, more often or less often and just have one for chiseling. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the first item. The first item that we're going to, going to be taking a look at is going to be this baby right here. Let's go ahead and zoom in to it. Now, this is going to be the Mayhew 60141 Dom Dominator Screwdriver Pry Bar right here. As you could tell, it's brand new. It just came in, and let's go ahead and open it up. So... Like I said, I go ahead and I go through flathead screwdrivers a lot just because they tend to break on me. And this is going to be the baby right here. Now, as you can tell, it is going to be an item made in the USA for all of you that just purchased US made items. Uh, this is going to be one of those items right there. Now, of course, it's going to have its padded patent to composite ergonomically designed handle oil solvent temperature resistant it's going to have a metal strike cap at the back right here let's see if my camera could zoom in and as you can see it's going to have a metal strike cap back here that way you could hit it with your hammer and it could go ahead and just strike it and you're not going to end up breaking your screwdriver it's going to be meant for it to be to be hit back here and take that Take that force and exert it to the other side and you can break apart whatever you're trying to break loose. And of course, you're also going to be able to use it as a pry bar to loosen up. If you have some flanges, uh, if you're trying to loosen up or move a unit over to the side, this is going to be a great screwdriver or flathead to use. Now, let's take some uh, numbers right here. Now, it is going to be a 12 inch long end to end now for all of you that don't know what end to end stands for that's the overall length of the of the screwdriver right here or a pipe if you're cutting pipes you're going to need end to end so keep that in mind so it's going to be 12 inches long end to end now the shank right here is going to be seven inches long and of course it's going to be a square shank as you could tell right there the square shank right there is going to be three eighths of an inch thick, which is going to be able to handle a good amount of force. Now down here in the flat part, let's go ahead and zoom in just a tad bit more. Now right here on your flat part, you're going to have five sixteenths of an inch wide from from the end to end right there. And of course, your thickness on your screwdriver. Let me see if we could get it zoomed in. If you could tell right there, the thickness on the screwdriver is going to be be a sixteenth of an inch thick so it's going to be a good amount thickness that way you could pry it whatever you want and you're going to be able to pry it open or chisel it out in case you're chiseling some walls or demoing some items this is going to be a great item to have now on amazon you're going to be able to find it for 17 dollars and 32 cents which is not bad of a price the only thing that i found negative on it i wish they made a longer shank or a longer one uh the 12 they do have a 12 incher but the 12 incher is going to 45 at the end uh like a pry bar so i want a flathead screwdriver model so this is going to be a great Great item to pick up for all you that beat up beat the living hell out of your screwdriver or your flathead this is definitely a great item to pick up now the next item that you're going to be or we are going to be taking a look at of course you couldn't miss out on a Klein of if all of you know that Klein is known for its tools now we do know that some of the Klein items are not made in the USA but this one in particular is going to be in the made in the USA let me go ahead and zoom in and as you can see right there. Let's see if the camera focuses on it. 
uh let me go ahead and right there as you can tell right there it is made in the usa item so again for all you that only buy us made items this klein uh, is going to be one of them now of course this is going to be the klein tools 602-7 dd demolition screwdriver and as i said it is made in the usa now of course you're gonna have let's go ahead and open this baby up right here and pull it out and you had your tip protector right there. Now, of course, it is going to have Klein's famous uh, rubber handle and, of course, uh, plastic molding right there, which Klein is known for their handles, of course. And of, you're also going to have your metal uh, striker back here. Cap. Let's see if it focuses in. Let me go ahead and zoom back a little bit right there that we could hit it with the hammer and the full shank right here or the shaft is going to extend all the way to the striker cap in the back that way it doesn't break anything in between i've had multiple clients and they always tend to break at the handles right here where i strike it with the hammer and eventually they break after a couple force a couple times using it with force now of course like i said the metal shank is going to go all the way you're going to have a striker cap at the top and now for numbers the overall length for this baby is going to be 12 and 3 eighths of an inch long and the shank right here is going to be seven inches long and of course you're going to have a quarter inch thick round shaft right here now i kind of don't like the round shanks just because whenever you have a square one you get you get to put either some tongue and groove pliers or an adjustable wrench or a pipe wrench whatever you have to that way you could turn it or pry it open whatever you're trying to so uh i wish in the future they climb makes a square one that way you could have a better grip at the end right there or if you want to uh, pry something open with your channel locks or whatever or your tongue and groove pliers whatever the case is now of course you are going to have a flat head over here and uh, like the other one this flat head let me go ahead and zoom in just a tad bit now this flat head right here is going to be five sixteenths of an inch wide and then on up here let's see if i could zoom right back and catch it now right here the flat end the thickness on this baby right here is going to be about 132 of an inch wide now it's going to be half of a 16th inch wide so keep in mind that you're able to uh, fit it in certain areas where the other ones are probably too thick and if you want to keep it if you could see right there compare them let me see right there is just a tad bit thicker than this Klein right here. But again, it is going to be a great item for prying and also um, chiseling items. And it's going to be a great item, like I said. And on Amazon, you're going to be able to find it for $19.03. Now, the next item that we're going to be taking a look at, let's go ahead and zoom back out. And let's take a look at this baby right here. So, of course, we're down to two. The third item that we're going to be taking a look at is this baby right here. Now, of course, this is going to be the Proto 9708 item. And let's zoom in a tad bit. And, of course, you're going to have... It's going to be made in the USA also, guys. If you can tell right there, made in the USA. It even has the stamps USA on there. Again, for all you that just buy US-made items, this is going to be one of them. Now, it's going to have a striker cap in the back right here, as you can see right there. And then you're going to have a full shank and a wood handle right here, which is pretty nice. It's old school, but of course, it makes it a nice flathead screwdriver. That way, you can use it and also have a nice grip on there. So, of of course the shank itself is or the overall length on this puppy right here is going to be 14 inches long which is going to be just a tad bit longer than the other ones but of course the that extra length does help out in the field and then it's going to be the shank right here itself it's going to be eight and three sixteenths long and of course you're going to have that square shank right there and then you're going to have a three eighths thick shank that way it could withstand whatever uh, force is being exerted on it from the cap in the back. Now keep in mind the flat head right here is going to be a tad bit thicker than the other ones. And it's going to be 7 sixteenths of an inch wide. And then it's going to be a 16 inch thick at the flat end right there on the tip. 
Now, I wasn't able to find it on Amazon, but if you have an account with Proto, Dewalt, or whoever the cases you're dealing with, uh, you could ask for it and they probably have it for sale. I think I picked this one up for about $22 from a dealer. So keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and move this baby to the side. And then last but not least, guys, I had made a video previously about a year ago on this item and I'm still using it and I'm still liking it and it's still holding up to it. Now, this is going to be the Wera craft form 932a and of course like i said i've had it for about a year and as you could tell it's taken some abuse but it's still kicking and i'm still using it and it's still working great as you could tell the cap right here the striking cap it's little rusted but let me see if i could get that mosquito out the way and it's going to be a tad bit rusted but it's still doing it and i'm still using it with a hammer and striking it in the back and chiseling and prying things open now of course i had left made a video in the previous and i'll leave it up in the links and of course it's going going to come with its craft form handle right here which is nice ergonomic and you have a nice solid grip on it and then you're gonna have a striker cap at the end of it for full and it's gonna run a full shaft all the way to the striking cap that way it won't break on you and you have a full force being exerted on it now of course the overall length on this is going to be a tad bit longer 14 and a half inches overall length and the shank itself is going to run about nine and and it's going to be nine and 15 sixteenths of an inch long and it's going to have a hex shank right there as you can tell it's gonna have six sides to it that way you could grab it with a screwdriver and also you have an extra uh grabbing back here that way you could put your uh allen keys or whatever not allen keys sorry about that that way you could put your your keys right there or your tongue and groove pliers your uh, adjustable wrench and you could get extra grip on it now the flat head itself it's going to be the widest out of all four of the items you're taking a look at and it's going to be half inch wide right there and it's going to be a uh, 332 of an inch thick which is also thicker than the three items the other three items that we took a look at now of course it's going to be the priciest out of all of them on amazon you're going to be able to find it for 37 dollars and nine cents and i believe just because it's an import and it's not made here in the usa so you're getting tax on the import item so like i said guys these are going to be the three item or the four items that we took a look at and all four items are going to be great i definitely recommend them you cannot go wrong with any of these items Definitely a must in the trade if you're doing a bunch of demoing, breaking, adjusting, uh, removing flanges, whatever the case is. If you need something to beat up the screwdrivers with, these would definitely do the job. So as always, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. And thanks for watching. One tool a week, guys.